If you're following the real estate market, you've probably seen the news. Mortgage interest rates are up, home prices are up, and inventory is down. So you might be thinking, should I buy a home right now or should I wait? Today we're going to talk about three different facts that you need to know before deciding should you buy a home in 2021 or wait. Stay tuned, I'm Brian White. Welcome back to Moving to Dallas, Texas Guide. I'm Brian White, your local North Texas real estate expert. And each week we bring to you an update on what's going on in the overall national real estate market and specifically in North Texas. So why don't we jump right in. Today we're talking about three facts that you need to know before deciding if you're gonna buy real estate in 2021 or wait. So the first fact is that interest rates are going up and they're gonna continue going up. So when we talked last week, the update was that mortgage interest rates hit 3%. Now, and that was already a pretty big increase. So right, if we look back, uh, rates had been going down since, uh, since June or July of 2020, and they'd gone down pretty steadily. We saw the market hit a new record interest rate 14 times in 2020. So we rounded the year uh, heading into 2021 in rates that were like 2.7%. Well, now what we've seen is we have seen interest rates increase for five weeks in a row. So interest rates have increased five weeks in a row now. So that's not good news, um, at least from an affordability perspective, because uh, interest rates are the single biggest indicator of home affordability. One of the reasons that homes have been so affordable over the last several years, even though prices have been going up, is because interest rates have been so very low. So now that interest rates have gone up for five weeks in a row, what do you do about it? Like, what are we expecting to happen in the coming months? Well, what, what I'm showing you here is a projection of interest rates for the remainder of the year. And from the beginning, all of the analysts were predicting that mortgage interest rates were going to go up at some point this year. The question all along has been, uh, has been how much? And what you can see in that far right corner, uh, that far, far right column, is that uh, the average range somewhere between 3% and 3.2%. Well, <laughs> Uh, it's old news, right? Because we've already hit, uh, as of this last week, we've already hit rates that are at 3.1 and, uh, and in several cases uh, higher than that. So, um, so what do we expect to happen by the end of the year? Well, last week, the Fed came out and said that they are not going to raise the, um, the, the federal interest rate. So while interest rates are not directly tied to that, what that was a signal to the market is it said that the Fed is okay with inflation going up. So when inflation goes up, it's a, they're okay with uh, home prices going up. They're okay with, uh, with items that people are buying costing more. Well, that freaks the market out. And when the market gets freaked out, particularly when, uh, when bonds get freaked out, that causes interest rates to go up. And we saw that happen directly. And we've seen that happen over the last number of weeks as the markets have been trying to come to terms with inflation. Well, we're seeing that, right? Because home prices are going up. So it's likely that we see home price or um, mortgage rates continue to climb, uh, certainly for the next few weeks and, uh, and potentially through the remainder of the year. So the, the first fact is that uh, mortgage rates have gone up and it looks like they'll continue to go up. So you've got to think about in terms of should I buy or should I wait? Well, if rates continue to go up and if mortgage rates are the single biggest predictor of affordability, can you afford to wait? Because if rates are even a quarter of a percent higher, potentially higher than that, than they are right now, the same home, the exact same home is going to cost you hundreds of dollars more per month than it is right now. Your payment will go up. That same home will be less affordable by the end either than it is right now. So does it make sense to wait? You'll need to decide. So the second thing you've got to know is that home prices are up. I'm sure that's not new news, but exactly how and what does that mean for you may be news to you. So first, in February, in the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex, home prices were up 13%, a little more than 13% year over year. So the same house that you might have bought last year cost 13% more in February of 2021. That's a lot of money. If you're buying a $300,000 house, then just the easy math is that home costs roughly $40,000 more in 21 than it did in 20. It's a big deal. It's a really big deal. So the second thing is the second piece to that is although the the home prices are up what we're also seeing is that list prices are going up and then homes now are going dramatically above list price 36 percent of homes 
have uh, have sold above list price. That's one in three homes are not just selling at list price. One in three homes are not just selling at list price, but they're going above and beyond. So this is not a market where you can go in and say, you know what, I'm looking for a deal. So I'm going to offer a less, I'm going to offer a discount. I'm going to try to uh, to negotiate. In fact, the negotiate's going the other way and the sellers very much have control. This is very much what's called a seller's market. So uh, one in three homes are actually going well above uh, asking price. So um, something you need to think about in terms of your, uh, your overall strategy. So what do we expect home prices to continue to do? What I'm showing you here is a price prediction for what seven different analysts are expecting to happen by the end of 2021. So this is a, uh, a price appreciation estimate from the beginning of 21 until the end of 21. And what you're seeing here is that there's a pretty wide range. The range is all the way from a low of 3%, just over 3%, to a high of more than 10%. So everybody is predicting prices to go up in 21. The qu only question is how much. So again, that $300,000 home that I've been talking about, if it goes up 3%, well, then it's going to cost you $9,000 more by the end of the year than it did in, in, at, the, uh, at the beginning. But if it goes up 10%, well, that's a $30,000 difference. Now, if you think about the fact that interest rates have also gone up, right, you're going to pay a higher interest rate, which means your interest expense is higher. But then if the home price is also $30,000 higher, then that's kind of a double whammy. You're getting hit twice with a higher payment on both sides. The, the thing we would tell you to do is if you're thinking about buying a home, buy sooner than later because you can buy when home prices are lower and hopefully also buy when interest rates are lower because those two things are going to end up saving you money on both sides. Fact number three to consider when you're evaluating a real estate market and the moves that you're going to make in 2021, there really are not many homes listed for sale. So what we're showing you here is the year over year change in number of listings on the real estate market. So what's happened since, uh, since COVID is that each week there have been fewer homes listed than the previous year. That's really not a big deal if you're thinking about one week. Okay, so this week there were fewer homes listed than the week prior. But then when that happens the next week and the next week and the next week, you get that orange to red line. And what the orange to red line is showing is that's the cumulative amount of listings and the cumulative amount of listings relative to last year. And you're seeing that by the end of uh, by the end of the year and heading into uh, into March of this year, that we're down near 50 percent. So we had 50 percent of the number of listings this year than last year. There's really just not very many homes in the market. So if you own a home and you're thinking about selling, now is a brilliant time. Now may be the best time ever to sell a home because there's really not much inventory on the market. There's really not much competition. You know, real estate and particularly selling a home is very much a beauty pageant. You know, you're in direct competition with every other home on the market. So what's the best way to win that, that pageant or that competition? Well, the best way to win is to limit competition, is to sell when there's less competition on the market than any other time. And now is very much that time. So if we look at just uh, Dallas-Fort Worth in, uh, in the local North Texas market, that number holds true. There are 49.6 fewer active listings at the end of February than there were at the same time last year. So uh, roughly one in two. So one in two homes is off the market. That means that, uh, that there are fewer homes for buyers to choose for. If you're a seller, that's a brilliant time to sell. Now, if you're a buyer, that can be tough. That can be tough. So when we're thinking about should you wait or should you go ahead and buy, the, some of the question is, can you find the home that you're looking for? Can you find the home that you're looking for? So what we're seeing really is that a lot of homes are selling. Homes are absolutely coming on the market. They're just selling so quickly. Like if we look at this chart, it's not highlighted, but in that uh, bottom, uh, there's 1.4 months of inventory. That, uh, as of the recording of this, that number is actually down to 1.1. So all of the homes on the market would sell in just over a month if we stopped listing homes right now. And that doesn't mean that homes aren't listing. We're actually listing quite a few homes. They're just only staying on the market in most cases for two or three days. They're staying on the market over opening weekend and then going under contract. So it's not that homes aren't selling. It's not that you can't find the home that you're looking for. It's just that they're very, very competitive and they're moving off the market very, very quick. So the, um, the thing we would tell you about that is there are actually more listings on the market than there are agents. For the first time, uh, excuse me, I'm, so what I'm actually telling you there is there are actually more real estate agents. There are more realtors now than there are homes listed. 
it's a super competitive market. There just aren't many, um, any many homes listed. And because the market's been so very hot, a lot of people have jumped into the market as new agents. So when it's time, when you decide that you are going to make a move, whether you're buying or selling, one of the things you want to know is you want to know that you're working with an experienced agent and you want to know that the agent you're working with has closed deals, not just ever, but has closed deals in the last 45 days. This market is so different than any other market that's ever happened before. It's not relevant if you close a deal last fall. It's not relevant if you close five or six deals a year. You need to have deals under your belt in the last 30, 40, 60 days. Um, you need to have deals that closed in February, March, and already under contract for April to, to really be relevant to understand what's going on in the market. So be sure and ask those questions if you're thinking about uh, jumping into the market right now. So today we talk about three different things, really three different facts that you need to know when deciding if you're going to buy real estate in 2021 or if you're going to wait it out. The first is that mortgage interest rates are up and it looks like they're going to continue to go up. The second is that home prices are up and they're almost certainly going to continue to go up, barring a, some kind of economic uh, situation that uh, just completely changes everything for everybody. Home prices are likely to continue going up. The third is inventory is down, but homes are very much selling. Homes are listing. There's been a lot of choice. There's been a lot of homes um, come onto the market. You just need to be prepared to move very, very quickly, move aggressive, and have a team that really, really knows how to navigate the, uh, a competitive market like this so they can help you win. I hope this was helpful. If it is, then be sure to hit that subscribe button and hang out to watch one of our other market updates or videos on what's going on in uh, various neighborhoods in Dallas, Fort Worth. I'm Brian White. Thanks for joining, and I'll see you there.